Hello, this is Genosis with episode 28 of Undead Legacy, The Archer. Um, there we go. So I'm picking up exactly where I left off. In fact, I didn't even turn the game off. I just paused, <laughs> tried to remind myself what the hell episode I was on. And then, now, yeah, here we are. So yes, uh, we are in this uh, town. I've explored a great deal. We did get a little bit of fuel. So we're probably going to end up throwing it straight in the bike because we still have um, some way to go. Yeah, there it goes. All right, so... I'd like to continue deeper into this area. If I see some uh, some places that are of interest, I'll stop. I haven't even found... Oh, okay, I, just, I guess I did find... Oh, you know what? Trader Jen. Let's go talk to Trader Jen, because uh, she's reset. Because I believe, yeah, 45. Because um, uh, 44 is divisible by 4 by 11. Plus 1 is 45. So that's what, uh, that's what day we're on. So yeah, she reset. And I'm right here. So what the hell? Let's go uh, give her a chat right away. I'm at Trader Jen's right now, and uh, oh, yeah, actually, I probably should keep the bullets on me so I can sell them immediately. But let's go ahead and swap these boots. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a huge upgrade. From F leather to A military. That is that is just phenomenal. So, yeah, let's get that swapped out immediately. Yeah, they're, they're even broken, so now they're, now they're no longer broken. There we go. And then, uh, I don't even think that's worth fixing. <laughs> There's a bench right here that could fix it. I could sell it. But I don't know if that would be worth the investment 600 bucks no probably not i'll save that until i can use my own repair station all right so now that we've done this well, look what the cat dragged, yeah, cat dragged in, in. Ooh. oh dude it's a shame i'm not using that brinks's fury uh brinks is actually a streamer we've uh, interacted with him on a modest amount uh it's been a while since we haven't been on the st uh, streaming um environment but yeah brinks is a streamer uh, who's done seven days to die and yeah that's his uh, that's his hammer it's a good hammer i think it does electricity kind of like thor's hammer kind of thing so I don't see a beaker or anything gas-related or a beaker or gas-related. No. Is there anything I could sell? Yeah, maybe a bit of bullets. For letting me take All right, that stuff aside. Let's scrap and this. Tell your friends. And vehicle fuel saver. You know what would be cool? Follow with me on this one. Let's say if you find one item, let's say I found a compound bow. And if you find it, you'll never need to learn it, right? Because you just keep upgrading spread. What if you learned it, and having learned it, reduces what it costs to upgrade? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be cool? I, I know that would be a huge amount of work, but um, hmm. maybe I'll, I'll save that. I don't know. I'm just gonna, this doesn't take any weight. I'm just going to hang on to it. So what do you have for sale? Okay, it's got some military stuff for sale, but I'm, I'm not going to start by spending a bunch of money. Because uh, if I do come across something I want, then I want to be able to buy it. Let's sell some headlights. Uh, yeah, because I want to be able to buy it. I don't want to waste Perfect. any money. So uh, we tracked out Jen. She's uh, had some new items, but nothing nothing of interest. All right, so with that in mind, we still have a city to cruise through. And uh, ideally, I'll find maybe a highway connection leads out to wherever the next city is. By the way, I'm just checking this, uh, this building. Um, I see a lot of crates. A lot of crates. I don't see any gas barrels. I see a lot of water barrels. Ooh, look at that titanium plate and lead. Nice. If, if there was gas barrels, I'd be tempted to a uh, bit a bit of sneaky deaky here. Now there's a lot of crates. What are those? Must be construction crates. Yeah, construction site boxes. Okay. Um. Hi, friend. Maybe I should. Uh, whoop. Be a little more cautious. Ow. 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 I'm just going to sneak my way up here. Turn my light off. Sneak my way. Okay, I see. We're going to Steph, Shotgun Messiah. I mean, loot's like right there. Where are the zombies, though? There's got to be... Oh, there we are. There you are. I don't have any... Uh... Oh, man. He's irradiated. <clears throat> okay, you know what? I do have my extra sneak damage. And we don't think we're close to a level anytime soon. Is that going to be enough? 4.5. Ah, uh, you, you just kind of right for me, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Look at that. You did? You did? Nice. Was that it? Was, uh... That might have been it. Nope, that wasn't it. Oh! Holy shit! Oh, uh, I'm sorry. One shot on a radiated is just... Okay, I'm gonna say it. Fucking juicy. At the very least, having, uh, I guess what, 
one might call almost cheese in this place. At least I had a fight that kind of warranted the loot I'm about to receive. So yeah, let's crack those, get those popped open here and uh, see if this was worth our time. There we go. Uh, hey, nail gun. Uh, we have one. Yes, we have one. So I will scrap that. Gun store box with parts I will sell. Parts I will sell. Hammer I will sell. Really just, just wood. Just plain old just wood. Okay. Now there's probably a few other crates I could snag right over here. And we as well grab those before we go. Oh geez, Louise, this place is a little, <laughs> a little active, uh, but I'm getting lots of crates. Uh, just not the ones I'm looking for. But hey, yeah, I think it was worth the uh, time coming in here. There was just so many of these construction crate boxes that there could have very well been worth something. I was just hoping for some gas, but alas, I did not. All right, let's get out of here. I think we found everything worth finding. All right, back on the road. All right, so I'm just kind of following the edge of the city here. And usually if you follow an edge, you can find the highway access. And there's I, usually one, usually just the one highway access out of the town. So if I can find that, that'll probably lead us to the next one. Uh, whenever I get this place, you know, with all the trellises and blueberries, I always kind of come in here, because I know there's a really to get working stuff tools crate over here. And why not? It's, it's low hanging fruit, may as well grab it, you never know. I mean, one of those crates had a full value drill in it. So I guess you just can't uh, take stuff like that for granted. How do we get in here? Interesting. There was no way to get in there and nothing in there. Then why would that? Okay, whatever. It's just decoration. Try not to think too much about it. Oh, there's a... I think there's a highway right here. So that led around the corner. Oh, hold on. This leads back into the town. I think this lead might lead out. I think I'll... Yeah, I think I was in the north edge when I first did my tour. So this must be the only way out of town. All right, let's follow this way because I don't... Yeah, I have no idea what's over here. So maybe there's a... Maybe there's a town in this direction. What the hell? Hold on. That is weird. I wasn't, I was never here. This is un... Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, try to explain that one. I know I can't. Ooh, that's a really good ratchet. Wow. Um, geez Louise. Okay, let's switch that immediately. All right, comparatively, uh, well, it's one point. It's not, it's not better for damage or power attack, but that doesn't really matter. It's the block damage you're looking for. Yoink, yoink, no other mods. No? Cool. All right, now we get a purple level ratchet. Yeah, the vehicles are definitely worth stopping by. Oh, holy shit. Uh, I mean, I don't need it, but see, I told you I found a jackhammer in a car before. It's pretty awesome. Like, uh, hold on, hold on. Can I modify? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Modify? I thought maybe it'd come preload with gas. But yeah, that's, a, that's actually a decent looking jackhammer. I don't know. Is there any schematics that require it? Recipes, yeah. Oh, the Valkyrie drill. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll just be repairing that. Oh, we'll get a split here. Um, I guess we'll go this way. Uh, unless it just zips around. Okay. Yeah, anyways, I may well just repair it and end up selling it as much as it'll break my heart. Because, yeah, jackhammers are, uh, you know, they're, they they do the job. Yeah, so you get to scrap titanium from the, uh, the police cars. And uh, scrap, well, not scrap, but I think you actually get steel plating from those. So if you, uh, th that will fix the uh, Valkyrie drill. So it's definitely worth, uh, maybe, or am I, um, worth grabbing those when you're out and about. Yeah, there you go, some steel plating. That's what I'm talking about. And I think you get some titanium in the last stage. It's random. Ah, oh, well. Either way, I'm heading north now, apparently. So it looks like this uh, highway goes in a few different directions. Oh, we got some buildings. I can't even tell. The freaking snow in the distance. That's a barn, so we're in the outskirts of a, of a town, possibly. Just can't really, can't really tell. Oh, oh, starting to clear. I see a skyscraper. Oh yeah, it's okay. One of those half-built ones. All right, so let's uh, cruise the edge of the town and uh, see if we can find a trader in the area. Well, this looks to be a city, city blocks in there. So definitely a big old juicy town right there. But yeah, I'm still following the edge of what I assume to be the city. Uh, hopefully, they find the trader because there's one in every, every one in every city. So. Uh, that well know where to start from. Oh, I see a Trader Gen over there. You can see that little cross from a, from a distance. That's great, because that's another valid uh, or not valid chance to get a beaker out of her, which would be uh, very titillating for me. All right, Trader Gen, let's uh, offload some stuff, because I think I'm 
bearing on encumbrance. They're almost out of wolf eat me just a second ago. Okay, let's get this sorted out. All right, so since I'm gonna be in here for a little while, I'm gonna close the door behind me so I don't get any uh, interruptions. Oh, I do remember there are some uh, fuel canisters back here, if I'm not mistaken. Any munitions box? Yeah, a bunch of stuff I can sell her back to her. Oh yeah, rusty barrels. There we go. Let's uh, link that back into my bar and uh, grab a couple more. Another chem station schematic. Uh, I found those. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How many ratchets am I going to find? That's a rank... Uh, wait, no, hold on, that's worse. No, it's... Okay, sorry, rank A. Sorry, I thought it was the other way around. So, yeah, wow, we went... Uh, all, like, to blue, to purple, to all the way to orange here. Now, if I could find a yellow, like a rank S ratchet here, then uh, I would say we're complete. All right, downloading the outside. Now let's take a look at the inside. So, what are you buying today? So, well, it depends what you're selling. Hey, Beaker! Oh, yes. Frickin' Aww, finally. All right. Time. Let's get my sugar butts on. And uh, let's uh, peruse your inventory and sell a few things. All right, there's the a few items I wanted to sell. And yeah, Beaker. Oh, thank Christ. How long did that take? Way too damn long. Oh, bow parts. Bam. I'm glad I kind of did that. Um, let's see if there's anything else that she might be offering us. All right, box some extra bottles, but I think that is all the stuff I'm looking for. I think I bought all the bow parts off you. Yep. Well, you just Fantastic. My day. Oh, you brighten my day, honey. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm very glad you can help me. So now I can actually make the uh, gas schematic, which uh, is just fucking phenomenal. Just you don't great. Look so good. Well, you look like, like shit yourself, Ella. So let's see what you have to sell. Ooh, military stealth boots. Okay, I'm going to buy that. Uh, triple Take pocket. Do I have do I have triple pocket mods? I don't. Well, let me just buy that from you. All right, so he's selling military legs. Ah, uh, seven grand. You know, that's a lot of money. I just spent a bunch of money, so I'm, I'm going to abstain from oh. doing that right now. Uh, let's finish leaving this place, and then uh, we'll check the town a little bit more and see if there's other towns we can find nearby. Great mission's crate with some more bullets to sell. I probably should have looted that before selling. And ooh, gas. There's a, it's a big old chunk of gas right there. But hey, I don't have to worry about gas. Once I get back home, I can craft that gas schematic. And then we'll never have to worry about gas again. I, I think I grabbed a modest amount of shale when I was in the desert. So I think we can make a good whole modest chunk of it and just not have to worry about it. We can just sh totally shut up about it. Now, I'm actually tempted to make my thumbnail related to the beaker, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. I mean, you know by now. But uh, maybe I'll come up with something a little more obscure uh, and not ruin the surprise. I think I pilfer just put everything worth pilfering. Um, I'll do that. Learn that book. And let's see. I'll put it on. Put, yeah, I may as well put it on one of some of my better items. There we go. So, what does it take to craft a triple pocket mod? Do you need a book for that? Uh, triple pocket mod. Um, yeah, I think unlocked by what? Just a plain old schematic? Mm, Alright. So I'll keep an eye out for that, or I can just try to find them. In either case, that was a good find. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Everything's been looted. Uh, zombie. Hey, we'll take care of it for you. You're gonna take care of my ass for me? Okay, I don't know. You're getting a little personal there. Okay. Alright, food's drunk. Uh, that is... wow. Hmm. Let me cut through this. There's a way down south. Oh wait, I've already been through that town. Then maybe we'll head... North or this way? I don't know. Oh, shit. Uh, maybe I'll find a different way out. Right, I'm just going to jump over this. Run to my back. Excuse me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of here. All right, let's take another quick look at our map. All right, there's a, I think a highway leading out of the town. Yeah, we may as well, we may as well just follow it and see where this leads. Or is it this way? Hold on, let me check. It looks like this just loops around. So let's go check this way. Uh, once I got unlocked, this will probably lead us closer to getting home. So may as well just kind of do the loop and uh, do some exploring while we're heading back. Because I definitely want to cr like to craft some fuel today. I wonder if this is one of the cars that we should cr we should uh, make. It's a nice looking car. That's something I'm thinking about. I should look into making a, a car repair kit. Car repair. Yeah, I have to learn that and spend some... Oh, I got. I, I think I have plenty at home. Uh, we'll get the gas schematic settled first before we think about anything else. But I think a larger vehicle will definitely be one of the next steps that we take uh, after we get the whole, you know, fuel thing settled. 
Okay, I think this place starting. This may actually might be my starter town in my side game. It's starting to look familiar. Because I remember this angled street, and I remember there was a military camp. So if that is the case, there should be a trader around here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is yeah, this is my starting uh, starting spot right here. In fact, my base in my side game is right here. Like I build kind of like a snipery kind of style base, and uh, just facing the trader because you know why the hell not? Yeah, and I remember camping up there for my first night. So yeah, this is definitely trader, and this is trader Ellen. So this is not even one of the uh, the vanilla traders. And I know in Trader Ellen, there is a, a bunch of uh, gas, so I'm excited for that. Oh yeah, look at this thing. Bunch of mechs, or I guess the kind of a Assaultron style things, look at those blades. Those are sweet looking. Please, please, please. Uh, I mean, this would be completely game breaking if these were usable, but oh my god, that would look awesome. So yeah, here is Trader Ellen Let's and Maxton, which is a, definitely a, you know, Paladin Maxton, I think. What am I hearing? That's a lot of feet. All right, see what you have for sale. Ooh, it's a bunch of bottles. Keep buying, keep buying those. Uh, duct tape, I won't bother buying quite yet. But I'll keep an eye out for acid and stuff like that. You need quite a bit of it. I don't think there's much for me to sell other than maybe some bullets. But we'll check the other trader here in a second. All right, that's all she had of interest. As you wish. As you wish. And how about Maxton? What do you got for me? Oh, hey, bow parts. Yes. And even more, more bow parts. Awesome. So we got we got a bunch. So we can do some uh, bunch of upgrading. And I already know how to make a titanium katana. So I guess I, I didn't need to buy that. I can just make it myself. And we'll keep it out for the legendary stuff later on. Done. Done. All right. Let's uh, let's peruse. Let's get this place looted before we uh, go into results. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, my God. Look at all this gas. Uh, yeah. Four here. Three here. Six here. Oh, oof. Ooh, that's that's gonna fill it up. And then oh yeah, hold on, it actually went the wrong direction. That'll fill up entirely. And then fill up some more. Oh wow. A few yeah, this is I mean, I still I can craft it, but what the hell? This is free gas. And uh today's day and age, free gas, you can't turn that down. Oh, another barrel too. Sweet. Yeah, that is that is a ton of fuel. Oh man, I don't even think we're done. You know, this would be that would be a really cool vehicle to get. Oh, you think a military four x four? That actually might be pretty sweet, because um, I wanted something a little larger, but also didn't want... I guess that might be fairly slow. I was tempted to get the Phantom, but I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Once I get the repair kit ready to go, then I'll, I'll make a kind of decision. But until then, I'll uh, I'll hum and I'll haw about it. And the order plan schematic. Very nice. And yeah, here are all the workstations. Uh, just odds and ends, odds and ends. And, oh, some more gas. So, yeah, this is, I think, by far the most gas-filled trader. Yeah, you think that would be wrecked, right? <laughs> what a shitter. Um, but, yeah, no, for fuel, this is definitely the place to go. Hey, another military crate. Awesome. I believe we are good to go. Um, there might be some... Hold on, is there stuff over here? Oh, yeah, there's a... There's another floor. Oh, hey, Wasteland Treasures. Brass and Sinks. Okie doke. Um, I don't, don't recall what the perk is, but offhand. But whatever, it's a... Uh, the other perk books I will I will get. Is that a missile silo? Really? Oh, okay, you know, I think this might be like a... Yeah, this is probably a converted military camp. And I think that silos were those robots were or something. I don't know. Something like that. Thought sure... Did I get the other military uh, thing? I don't recall if I did. I'm just trying to see if I didn't miss anything before I decide that I'm done here. Okay, this uh, this tower is pretty high up here. This uh, better not be wasting my time. Like, it better be something very nice at the top of it. It's probably the other military crate, but we'll see. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that was somewhat worth it. We got a 4x scope on it. Um, let's see if there might be anything else at the very tippy top. Ah, oh, there we go. Welcome back. Cool. All right, uh, it is getting late. Let's uh, GTFO. And... Yeah, I can't recall. Maybe I might have to start beelining for home. I don't really... I got what I need. Then I can start thinking about the next task. Yeah, this is so surreal looking at this place where, you know, my base is like right there. Like right over there. But yeah, this was actually a relatively small town, so I picked this place like clean. Now, I believe there's a road. Let's just find whatever highway that leads south and try to get our butts home. I don't... I don't know if there's a road that leads between here and home, but we'll sort of try. 
All right, let's just loops around and there's... Yeah, I'm just gonna try to beeline for home. We got a lot of towns scouted out and I I think I'm done scouting for that. I've been doing a lot of driving lately. <laughs> so let's just get our asses home. We, ha we have other things to do. I wanna get new vehicles. I wanna uh, maybe upgrade our base a bit and maybe start thinking about a different base design because I eventually I wanna go to the wasteland. I know that's uh, it's always my thing. I wanna get pretty high, you know, high level and then go to the wasteland, move there, take advantage of the loot stage. Because imagine all the loot I would get if I had a Horde Knight uh, in the Wasteland and, you know, I spent all my time doing quests in the Wasteland and getting those those loots, so that would be, uh, that'd be pretty great. Oh, I had a fuel. Good thing I have a bunch of fuel. Good thing. Good thing I have more where that came from. We just entered a town and, uh, oh yeah, here we go. So that connects our two, or my two playthroughs is that this is where I was. I think I ended up going over here a little bit, so this was all new to me. But, uh, yeah, so here's my base right here and there's my, uh, my uh, non-YouTube base. So they're relatively close, there's just a big-ass mountain in the middle. Which is a little unfortunate, but yeah, whatever. So I guess now that I do that, I can maybe uh, hop over here and uh, I know where the town is on my side game now. Oh, finally back home. Yeah, I think we're done with road trips for a little bit. Now that we've finished our Genosis and the quest for the Holy Beaker, so that's all taken care of. Now we can start focusing on other things and stop driving around like a maniac. All right, so let, this is going to be very cathartic, going up here and getting that researched. I, I'm looking forward to it. All right, research station. Gas. Gasoline. Ooh, okay, I need four grain alcohol. I believe we can manage that. Okay, just at nighttime, and there's a grain alcohol. Research station. Gasoline. 2,000 data, and we have twice as much, so there we go. There's our beaker. We have plenty of acid. 100 oil shell. Let's, is that all we have? Okay, maybe that's enough. One minute. I'm gonna wait that one minute. I, I'm not gonna end the episode before we actually have the gas you know, schematic there and start crafting fuel. Because I think there would be a complete revolt in the comments if I didn't, you know, allow you guys to see the uh, the benefit or the result of all this thing. This whole, what, two week long journey on making fuel. I'm actually gonna have use for this now. Look at that. Rusty Bale sold 240 units of fuel. Uh, maybe we'll make a garage now that this is happening. Oh, there we go. Learn. Okay, let's get rid of that. Get out of there. Get, get, get out of there. I said get out of there. Jesus Christ. Go. All right, so gasoline. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, hold on. Fuel. There we go. So I do have fuel. Okay, hold on. Fuel barrels. Okay, I have gasoline barrels. Oh, yeah. Okay, I need some more coal powder. But look at that. Crafting two whole barrels just like that. Do I have any more coal? Because I guess now that they have two barrels of gas, uh, I definitely have enough to go mine some coal. Look at that. Two whole barrels of gas just like that. Just, just like, bam, done. So we can just toss that in here. There we go. And that would probably be maybe the smart way to keep this gas in here. That way I can just grab some gas canisters. Like, uh... Where are they? Just got one gas can one gas canister right there. I think we have some in tools. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. So I can just go up, walk up here and go like one gas can, two gas can, and then go mining. Okay, that's awesome. Anyways, this has been Genosis with episode 28 of Undead Legacy, The Archer. If you like what you saw here today, like the video. Like to see some more in the future. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and catch us tomorrow where we don't search for a beaker. <laughs>